In this lesson, we're going to do a little bit more in the Edit menu. So let's pull up an image. Let's pull up the same sunflower we did before. And Free Transform, we know what that does. Remember, it allows you to basically do a few different things in one, move it around, size, width, length, and you're not constrained by specific proportions, so you can make it as stretch it as high as you want, make it as short as you want, so on and so forth. When you're done, you hit enter, but let's go back to our original image. So that's free transform, rather than scale, which constrains you to the same proportions, just larger or smaller. Um, rotate, we were doing that in free transform, but in this particular one, all it allows you to do is rotate. Now, skew is interesting. This is the one I wanted to show you. Skew. Sounds strange, doesn't it? All right. You're given your same anchor points here. But skew allows you to stretch the perspective of the shot. And depending on which anchor point you grab, the opposite section stays in place as if someone's holding the opposite side. So if I grab this anchor point and I move it up, you notice how it skews it, changes the perspective, but this side stays anchored. So you could move it up or down, and that's basically all you can do. You can skew it as far as you want, upward or downward, but by grabbing that anchor point, that's, as, that's the direction you can skew it. All right, let's grab one of these and you'll see now when I grab this anchor point you notice how up here now stays in one place. So it's almost like a piece of paper you've grabbed where one end of it is stuck. So you can move it this way or that way to change the perspective. Now notice what happens if you grab a corner. If you pull up, you notice how all it's doing is moving that corner up, but it's not changing the perspective of all the other anchor points who are all staying in place. So it's as if all it's as if that paper is stuck in all these spots and you're only able to grab the corner of that paper and move it up, down, or up. See, it looks like right now we're pulling it, like pulling the paper up. So we can go down like that, stretch it that way, up like that. Really distort it if we wanted to. So that would work with any of these corners. And of course you can grab the whole thing and move it around like that. So that's the way skew works. Now, let's go back. Oh, we have to accept it first. Let me just hit enter. Now we go back to the original image. Now, something a little different. Not transform skew, but transform distort. Now, notice it looks virtually the same, but let's see what the differences are. If you grab this section, Notice how much more now let's minimize this and now instead of going to skew we're going to go to distort now if you're not paying attention you think you might think it does the exact same thing because you see it looks the same same anchor points you can move it up or down right but if you remember this page was a specific size with skew so you couldn't stretch it out like so so when you pulled it down it wasn't stretching the image as we're doing it now where it's not distorting the image it's almost like the paper it's the same as skew 
but it's almost like the paper is flexible, like rubber. So you could pull it and distort it in whatever way you wanted. The anchor points all act the same way, like so. All right. Now, let's actually do something with these tools, um, just to give you some kind of an idea of what skew and distort can be used for. All right. I just went back to the original image. Now, first let's transform the scale. Let's make this smaller. So we're keeping our same background. But we're just changing. So our canvas size is the same. It's just, which is different from um, that other resizing I showed you before. If you remember, fit image. It's adjusting the whole image, including the canvas. But when you edit and transform the scale, it leaves the canvas, which is uh, designated by the this checkered background. All right, now let's transform skew. Now let's grab this and so you notice I can't stretch it out. I can only move it up or down. Alright, let's do that. And we'll move it here. Uh, you know what we should have done before? We should have created a duplicate layer. Let's do that. Oops, I went back to far. Okay, there we go. All right, let's make a duplicate of this. So, duplicate layer. There we go. Now, now we'll skew this layer. like so. Now we'll go over and we'll hit enter. That's fine. Now we'll take, click on the other layer here. And we're going to skew it also. So. Let's see if we can get it. It's pretty close. Hit return. Alright, now it looks like a corner of a box. Now, uh, I didn't make another copy of it. But, All right, let's go back a couple steps. See, this is what you always learn. <laughs> Dupli let's go back to the duplicate layer. And I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to make another layer. Okay, now we have three. <laughs> okay, now let's skew it again. Move it right there. Now we'll grab this layer. Oh, we've got to hit enter. Grab this layer. Um, let's take this one here and move it out of the way for now. So on this layer, we're going to skew this one also.
like so until you get it how you want it. All right. Now, looks kind of like the that corner of the box that we had before. Now we'll take this one. Now instead of skewing this one, let's try to distort this one. We're going to bring it down here and let's grab a couple anchor points. Okay. We'll make that tiny. We'll make it like this. I'm probably not going to get this perfect, but I'm going to stretch it out over here. And I'll take it and move it up here. Like so. Ah, see now there we were able to stretch it and skew it and make it this little strip here. Now what I could do is take that strip and let's duplicate it and then grab this one. Oops. I think I want to see both. Grab this one, put it next to it, and I could keep duplicating the layers and start to cover the box. So there's a, an example of skewing as opposed to distorting. See, skewing doesn't uh, allow you as much flexibility, but they're both used for different applications. So there you go. Make a box.